Okay, welcome back. It is a cleaning organizational day. It is video number two of my declutter series that I'm doing. Today is going to be a hard one. Um, blushes and blush palettes and the blush bronzer highlighter, like little trios and things. Let's do this. I'm gonna be cutthroat. Gonna be cutthroat. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to go through are my um, combination palettes. The ones that have the highlighters, the blushes, and the bronzers. Right off the bat, I know I am keeping my hourglass palette this is the ambient unlocked the ambient edit unlocked palette and this is new where i got this during the holiday and this isn't going anywhere so again i have a keep pile a toss and a giveaway pile um, the next item i know i'm keeping is my bucca jacqueline hill palette this is an oldie and a goodie so this is not going anywhere i need to keep this makeup forever trio this is a customized trio that i made it's gorgeous i'm keeping that i actually know i am going to get rid of this i think i've used this once or twice and um it's from Milani but I'm not I just it's pretty but I don't love it it's really chunky and I don't reach for it so I'm gonna give this away um I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of this this is just really old it is a trio called Sunset Junction from Wet and Wild. I'm gonna throw this away because this is really old. This has got to be like four or five years old. I'm gonna get rid of this. And um, I'm gonna keep this. This is the new Tarte Clay Play palette. They redid it. This is the newer one. I had the first one and I got rid of it. This is this is really nice. I am gonna keep this one. I'm going to part with this. I saved this in the last declutter, barely. I just don't reach for it, so I'm going to gift that away. So I've got these two little tart trios. They're very, very different, actually. But... <sighs> these are actually really similar mm, I'm gonna keep them all I'm gonna keep them all because I actually do really like the tart um, blushes and bronzers and things so this is a newer product from covergirl I tried this out and it is really really pretty that's it right there I think I'm going to keep this too because I do I do actually really really like this. So I'm going to keep that and try to use that in the summer. Next are all of my Milani blushes. These are not going anywhere. These are some of the best blushes out there. My newest one is this one in Blossom Time Rose. These are gorgeous I actually do want to get the other three blush palette that's like this one these are gorgeous these are safe okay so next are these little batches of drugstore blushes I have two LA girl blushes which I love and are not going anywhere um, this is just playful and 
just glowing. These are gorgeous. These are not going anywhere. I have these two satin touch blushes from Essence. I actually use those quite a bit, so those are not going anywhere. This is an e.l.f. blush palette that I created. You can pop these out. I had two, I had both of them. There is a dark one and a light one. And I took my favorite colors from both and combined them. I haven't touched this. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to gift this to somebody because they will get a lot more use out of it than I will. Nothing is wrong with these blushes. They're gorgeous. I just don't reach for them. So they're going to go to another home. I bought this Jordana Cream Blush. I don't use it. It's in the color Nude Peach. It's really, really pretty. I don't use it. I'm going to gift that to somebody else. Um, I have these three Wet n Wild blushes that I really like. We use these two quite a bit. This is my favorite one, Rosé Champagne. I'm going to keep those. I need to be more cutthroat. Then I have these two Master Highlight blushes from Maybelline. They don't make these anymore. But they're really pretty. Let's wear them all together. And that is what you get. There are those two. I'm going to get rid of these. I think that they're really pretty, but I typically don't go for a lot of sparkle in my blushes, if I'm honest. I like a matte blush. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, so I can honestly say <laughs> all of these are safe. These L'Oreal blushes are gorgeous. These little highlighter blush duos are great. And then these Paradise Enchanted blushes are amazing. So I'm keeping those, definitely. These are new, and I'm still trying these out, but I can honestly say for $5, go pick these up. Literally, these are beautiful. They're new, too. Um, and then I have these two butter blushes in plum rose and I think this is vintage rouge so I'm keeping those okay I have my two Laura Geller blushes I have the color pink grapefruit and honeysuckle these are gorgeous these are about the only blushes that I really like that are shimmery just because they are so stunning. I'm keeping those. I'm keeping this Lorac blush in the color Cinematic. It's gorgeous. I'm keeping this. This is my new Hourglass blush in Mood Exposure. I hunted for this blush for literally like two months. It was sold out online. They didn't have any in store. My friend Kristen saved the day. This is not going anywhere. Okay, so these are two Kat Von D blushes. They don't make these anymore. This is Bonnie and Clyde and Piaf and Poe. They're going away because I don't really support Kat anymore. Um, and also, I was collecting things. I'm no longer collecting her things. I'm not going to get rid of them if I used them. I don't use them because they're honestly not good, which is why they weren't out for very long. They were discontinued. Um, but they, they just weren't very good. They look okay, but they're very chalky, and she herself was not happy with the result. And yeah, I, I physically can't um, hold on to these anymore if I'm not going to use them. So that is that. I have four Gin Nude blushes. I believe there's six or seven. I have four of them. 
um, that peach though. You had me at Merlot. But first coffee and a Bellini brunch and keeping all of these because these are stunning. These guys are all safe. I'm trying to get rid of the glare, but these are my MAC blushes. These are not going anywhere. All right, guys, this is it. This is the last of it. These are my blush palettes. I already know I'm getting rid of this guy because this barely survived the last declutter and I've used it maybe once. This is going away, gifting that to somebody else. This is my um, beautiful Saharan blush palette by Juvia's Place. You guys, I mean, do I need to say anything else? This is staying. This is my Anastasia. This is a blush. Radiant. Radiant, yes. This is the Radiant Blush Palette by Anastasia. This is gorgeous. This. This is staying. This Revolution blush palette in Hot Spice. I battled with getting rid of this last declutter. My last declutter was last year, um, mid year, I think. Um, I battled with getting rid of this, and it's really pretty. It is really, really pretty, but I don't reach for it, but it's a really nice, you know what, no, I don't reach for it. I wanted it so badly. <sighs> maybe, I don't know, this is actually the first maybe. <laughs> And then this is the Morphe Blush Trio in Pop of Rose. This is really pretty. I actually get quite a bit of use out of this, so I'm going to keep this. So I just swatched this Makeup Revolution palette. It's not coming up very nice. It's not focusing. But these are really, really pretty. I'm gonna get rid of it though because they don't reach for it. Okay, so this is what I'm throwing away because it's really, really old. And this is everything that I am gonna gift away. Some of this stuff was literally used once or twice. <laughs> In some of it I did use a fair deal but I don't like this would have been awesome if the bronzer would have been at least matte I don't really go for shimmery glittery blushes or bronzers that's what highlighters for anyway this is everything that I'm getting rid of I actually I actually did better than I thought I was gonna do